Wow. Well, joining us now from a side of sweet is Kelly Hubrex. Thank you so much for joining us, Kelly. Thank you for having me. Yes, we were talking earlier in the show about amazing, strong women that we have, and I'm so happy to have you today chatting on the sofa. Let's first start off. You're a Nick U doctor. Mm -hmm. How challenging is it? to balance that lifestyle being a doctor? You know, it actually works really well, I think, uh, to kind of have that adrenaline and the feeling of just being on and like life and death at the hospital and then like have this whole other side life that kind of just evens things out. And being a NICU doctor, was that your initial passion? Is that the field you were passionate about when you first got into it? So I knew when I um, was in medical school I wanted to do something with kids, but the kind of babies and NICU was something I didn't discover till kind of later in residency and now I can't imagine doing anything else. I can imagine working yeah. with young babies every day. Oh, blessings. Yeah. They're so beautiful. I love babies. So yeah. um, that's absolutely incredible that you work to save lives every single day. But on top of saving lives and, and you know, being as awesome as you are, you're also <laughs> pretty much an influencer. I know a lot of people don't like that term. Yeah. But we use that loosely because yeah. you have a huge following, food, travel, housing, real, realty. How did you get started in the influencer part of your career? You know, I started my first blog when I was 20, so a long time ago, uh, you know, almost two decades. And so I started before Instagram even existed, and then I just have kind of evolved as, like, what people are looking for has evolved. You know, people don't read blogs in the same way as they did, you know, 20 years ago. And so now my biggest presence is on social media because that's what people want to see, and that's where I can connect with, you know, people that love the same things as I do. And how did you first start connecting with people in terms of social media? most specifically because obviously when you're at the hospital and you're a doctor mm -hmm. you're a doctor at that time and then when you come home yeah. and you connect with individuals on social media how'd you see that unfold you know I um, Instagram at first you know I think for everybody was like really casual and you just kind of like posted whatever but after I moved to San Francisco uh, to start residency in 2013 um, you know things were starting to change where things were getting more polished and um, you know people were creating entire lives really on the internet and yeah. making careers out of it and so I just um, I used to do just food because I had a food blog but then I soon realized after I was here that people just really love you know, my view of San Francisco and just like the amazing things to do in this amazing city. Oh so. my goodness, that's so cool. So, mm -hmm. so you moved over here in 2013 and the locals really started to love your view of San Francisco. That's pretty cool because... Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I, you know, I think, uh, it was definitely a few years of living here before I really felt like I, you know, was starting to understand the city and discovering all these, you know, amazing things it has. And so, um, I, yeah, I mean, it's just now 13 years in of living here, 12 years, uh, you know, I think I, I, you know, I feel like I have a local perspective. Now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, two totally different uh, career paths, but they intersect and they create one. How do you find the common ground between the two? Mm -hmm. Uh, so most of the time, I think other than just it briefly mentioned in my bio, nobody would really ever know that I am a doctor. You know, yeah. it kind of surprises people, especially if they are new uh, to following me when every once in a while I kind of slide something in that has some kind of doctor messaging. Um, and so I think that changed a little bit during the pandemic, especially early as information was coming out. I tried to convey what I was learning in a, like a factual way and help educate people and, um, you know, keep them encourage them to stay safe and I talked a lot about vaccines you know for COVID mm -hmm. um, but in general the you know the goal of my page is really kind of escapism and uh, color and whimsy and just like taking pride in living here and mm -hmm. and like all the beautiful things that San Francisco has to offer so. now I'm curious what we're looking at a couple of pictures now from Kelly's Instagram beautiful by the way it really art that that's truly what it is but I'm curious what some of your coworkers at the hospital think of yeah. you having a heavy following on social media. You know, I think people don't take it too seriously. You know, we all are like doing really important and serious work at, um, at work. And so I think it's just kind of like a novelty that they sort of acknowledge. And I have a few people at work that definitely follow me, but um, I don't know, it's, it's, you know, so secondary to like my identity as a physician and how mm -hmm. I am at work that I think people just kind of 
it's just in the background. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so favorite part about being a doctor and then favorite part about being an influencer as well. I think my favorite part about being a doctor is really connecting with the families. You know, babies in the NICU, they stay for weeks and weeks, and so we really get to know them, you know, um, and, and watch their child change and grow up and, and just, you know, have them pe a part of our healthcare team, and I think I really, like, love that aspect of it. Mm -hmm. um, for social media, I think, actually, um, the you know, the best part is people that I've met on social media that have become friends in real life. You know, you had my friend Allie on last week. She's wonderful. And yeah, and like now we're really close. We met on the internet, you know, like almost uh -huh. all of my friends that I hang out with in, in person are like people that I met online first, which is really Isn't that crazy. so funny how social media yeah. works nowadays? Exactly. My husband thinks it's like, you know, like the weirdest thing. <laughs> so, but it really has been a special part of having this, this platform. Well, for those in the audience and, and, and viewing who, who may not know a side of sweet, mm -hmm. your Instagram name, and who may not know what you are all about on that part yeah. of the job, kind of give us a, an explanation or a lowdown of what they can expect if they go to your page. So I'm a little all over the place. You know, <laughs> I think people, sometimes you follow an account and you're really expecting like recipes or, you know, one thing, but I, I just like sh love so many things that it all kind of spills onto a side of sweet. And so you'll really see whatever I'm loving that day, whether it's, um, I've started going to open house tours for these like fabulous San Francisco mansions and luxury condos and sharing those tours with people. I do recipes. I have like a cooking series with some of my friends. Um, I am renovating my own house. We um, bought a house a couple years ago. And so I have home renovation things. I mean, it's just a little bit of everything. Oh my goodness. So. You are one busy woman, a strong, powerful woman who's making a difference in this world. So thank you so much for being on Live in the Bay. Thank we appreciate you. it. Thanks so much. Yeah, so